Hey, today I'm going to show you how to put a realistic looking tattoo on skin with the GIMP editor. This is what our final result is going to look similar to. This tutorial is going to be directed at generally intermediate or advanced uh, GIMP editor users. If you're new to GIMP editor, you're going to have to learn the basics of the tools first and then come back to this tutorial. Okay, when I first start off, I've just got my hand, or you use whatever body part or image that you have for a person, and I have that as my first layer in the Layers dialog. You can always get to the Layers dialog by pressing Control L. I want to open up my tattoo as a new layer. Okay, I have my tattoo design open as a layer, and the first thing you'll notice is that the tattoo layer is larger than the actual size of my canvas. So I'm going to go to Image, Fit Canvas to Layers. Now the canvas size has been expanded to the size of my dragon tattoo design, so I'll have no trouble editing it. The first thing I want to do with my tattoo is remove all this white area around the dragon and replace that with transparency. But since this layer came from a JPEG image, I know that it doesn't have transparency already in the layer. So I'm going to have to go to layer, transparency, and add an alpha channel. Now I can use the fuzzy select tool to select the white area around the dragon and press the delete key to remove that white area. There's still a few patches of white inside my dragon so I'm going to remove those also. When I finish removing all the white I want to go to select none and now I'm ready to scale down the dragon so it'll fit onto the hand. I'm using the scale tool. Click on the dragon and drag down move the scale options out of the way until our dragon looks like it's about the right size to fit on the hand okay then click scale alright now I want to rotate the dragon just a little bit I'm using the rotate tool to just turn him just a tad click rotate now this way it looks like he's going down the hand and scoot it over a bit Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is important whether you have a color tattoo or a black and white tattoo is you want to select, you want to use the color by select tool to select all the black in the image. I'm using a threshold of 50 and you want to select the darkest part of the image. For this it appears to be inside of his mouth. Now we're going to colors colorize and the reason we're doing this is because in a realistic tattoo there's almost no true black the black that is used in drawing tattoos usually comes out onto the skin as a sort of dark blue now by default our colorized dialog should be set to a bluish color at 180 hue what we want to modify is the lightness of this blue hue if I take it very high you can see the blue coming out in the mouth and other areas of the dragon. We don't actually want it that high. I found that right around 10 is the lightness that seems to work best. So click OK. Now choose select none to get rid of our selection. Now so far it's looking pretty good but we're going to add some finishing touches here. We're going to change the mode of the dragon from normal to multiply. And we're going to change the opacity of the dragon from 100 to 80. The last thing we're going to do is add a little bit of a blur to the dragon. So go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. You generally won't need a whole lot of blur. For our dragon here I'm just going to use one by one and click OK. Now I'm going to get rid of this excess area around the edge of the image. First I have to select my hand layer, 
then I go to image auto crop image and there you have a realistic dragon tattoo on the back of your hand thanks for watching